Hello students, today we will start with a new lesson on body parts. So our body is wonderful and has many parts and each one has different names and uses. Each part work together so that you can eat, sleep, sit in class and play with friends. Being able to identify body parts is important because it allows you to start developing a sense of body awareness. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify different parts of the body. So let's know the name of these parts without any further delay. This is a head. H-E-A-D. It is located in the upper portion of the body. Head contains sensory organs which process information about the environment and translate it to the brain. This is called human hair. H-A-I-R. Hair grows from the skin of the human body. It is mainly made up of proteins which is called keratin. This is a forehead. F-O-R-E-H-E-A-D. It is located at the top of the face above the eyes. It is responsible for movement of facial muscles. This is a human face. F-A-C-E. The front of the human head which consists of eyes, nose, chin, lips and ears. This is an eye. E-Y-E. Eyes make color visions possible. Eyes help us to perform daily tasks and to learn about the world that surrounds them. This is a nose, N-O-S-E. It is located in the middle of the face above the mouth. It is an important organ for breathing and smelling. The two openings in the nose are called nostrils through which fresh air enters through our nose through inhalation and extracts debris from our nose through exhalation. This is an ear, E-A-R. It is located on either side of the head. It has two main functions. Number one, hearing. Number two, maintaining balance. This is a mouth, M-O-U-T-H. The two main functions of mouth are eating and chewing. Mouth is a place where food is chewed and mixed with a clear liquid called saliva. This is a teeth. T-E-E-T-H. Teeth allows mixing, cutting and grinding food so that it can be swallowed. Teeth not only helps in eating but also in talking, smiling and giving shape to our face. This is a tongue. T-O-N-G-U-E. It is located inside the mouth. Tongue helps in taste, talking, chewing and swallowing the food inside the mouth. This is a chin, C-H-I-N, the lower portion of the face lying below the lower lip. It protects the jaws from mechanical stresses. This is an eyebrow, E-Y-E-B-R-O-W. It is located at the junction of the forehead and the upper eyelid. The basic function of eyebrow is to keep our eyes clear 
of liquid such as sweat or rain. These are eyelids and eyelashes. Eyelashes, E-Y-E-L-A-S-H-E-S -E -E and eyelids, E-Y-E-L-I-T-S. Eyelashes work with the eyelids to keep dirt and other unwanted stuff out of your eyes. These are fingers, F-I-N-G-E-R-S. Fingers are vital for completing everyday task. We have five fingers in our hand. That is thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger and little finger. Fingers help us to hold things firmly. This is a palm. P-A-L-M. Palm helps us to hold things firmly without sliding. These are hands. H-A-N-D-S. The part of the body at the end of the arm that is used for holding, touching and feeling things. This is a wrist. W-R-I-S-T. It connects forearm with our hand. Due to its flexibility, wrist helps in movement or rotating of our hand easily. This is an elbow. E-L-P-O-W. It is a joint located between the upper arm and the lower arm allows to move your hand into almost any position to perform any activities. This is a shoulder. S-H-O-U-L-D-E-R. It is located above the upper arm. It is also one of the largest joint in the body. It allows the upper arm to rotate freely and provide strength to it. This is the chest. C-H-E-S-T. It is located between your neck and stomach. It protects our heart and lungs and also assists in arm movement. This is a stomach. S-T-O-M-A-C-H. It is a part of a digestive system. It stores and digests food, breaking it into a liquidy mixture. This is a hip. H-I-P. Hips play an important role in maintaining balance and supporting body weight. This is a neck. N-E-C-K. It is located below the head and above the shoulder. It supports the head weight, allowing the head to turn in all directions. This is an arm. A-R-M. Arms consist of three sections. Number one, the upper limb. Number two, the forearm. Number three, the hands. Arms allow us to do big movements like straightening your elbow or raising your arms above your head. This is a leg. L-E-G. It consists of thigh, knee, ankle and toe. Legs help us to play, walk, run, jump and swim. This is a foot. F -O, o T. It helps us to walk and stand. The end part of the leg of a person is a foot. This is a toe. T -O -E. It helps your feet to bear the weight of your body to walk. It also provides 
posture and balance to the body for walking, running and standing. This is an ankle, A-N-K-L-E. It is an area where the leg and the foot meets. It allows up and down movement of the foot by supporting body weight. This is a knee, K-N-E-E. It is the meeting point of the upper leg and the lower leg. Knee supports the body in an upright position. It helps to lower and raise the body by providing stability.